Advent Family Devotional, December 4th. The Flood, Genesis 5 through 8. This is like the days of Noah, for the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. And my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Hey, our kids. I hope you guys are enjoying these devotionals. Today's devotional is called The Flood, and it is from Genesis 5 through 8. But before we get into that, I have some friends who are going to listen with. I hope you're okay with that. So I have... Mr. Olaf, he loves warm hugs, but he also wants to learn about Jesus, so he's going to listen in. And then my little pup, Cooper, he's hanging out with us, too. All right. All right. Are we ready? Here we go. So, Adam and Eve had children, and their children had children. Everyone had hoped that one of those children would be the promised son, the one who would crush evil. Years went by and people forgot about God's promise to rescue them. Many people even forgot God. Can you believe that? How can you forget God? They were trapped in darkness, dark thoughts and dark actions. People destroyed themselves and each other and the earth. God saw that everything people thought and did was evil. So he decided to send a flood to cover the whole world, but God would let one family live. Noah was a son from the line of Adam. So one of the children of the children of the children, right? He's a son in the line of Adam. He walked with God and listened to him. God told Noah how to build a huge boat. Do you guys know what that boat's called? An ark, good job, Olaf. He knew that too. Noah's family and each kind of animal could be rescued from the flood in the ark. Noah believed God and he obeyed God. So Noah built the ark exactly how God commanded. All the animals and Noah's entire family entered the ark and God sealed the door, shut them in, locked it tight. Everyone was in there. Then the rain came down and the waters rose higher and higher and higher. That has to be really high water. I think of the deep end of a swimming pool, it's probably way higher than that, right? Oh man. All the animals and Noah's family stayed inside for a very long time. Months and months. When the waters finally dropped lower and lower, the ark had landed on the mountains of Ararat. The people and animals, what do you think they did? Hung out on the ark forever? Oh, they left the ark. They were able to get out. It was a new beginning. Noah made an altar and gave sacrifices to God, thanking him for his rescue. God promised that no matter how evil people become, he would never send another flood to destroy everything. God remembered his promise he had made to Adam and to Eve. So he set a reminder in the sky so we can all be reminded of this promise. Do you guys know what that is? Maybe you've seen it after rain. Yeah, a rainbow. A rainbow is something that reminds us of God's promise. And he's never going to have that flood again. And that he's going to love us no matter what we do, right? He's never going to stop loving us. God is making everything good and new again. And one day, all the bad is going to end. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that devotional. We will see you next time. Bye. Family Discussion what is something challenging that you wish would end?
Family Prayer As a family, ask God to give you the faith and courage to obey Him, even when it is hard.